so if you want a comfy clear, check out my old video. For this team it's better if you're Suzuna. Wakamo and Suzusa has higher UE. First, use Katama X, then wait for Maki's normal to use Wakamo EX. Next use Suzuna X, then Shizuko X in advance to block to balls. For this to work, the cart needs to have 27,000 HP, or just upgrade your Shizuko to the same level as mine. Wait till 10 costs to use Suzusa X, this way you deal more damage. That's because when the balls bounce back, Shiro take 50% more damage. Use Wakano X at around 7 cost, so that you can use Suzusa X after her normal skill. Now pray that Wakano and Suzuna are still alive. After this to finish Kuro. Depending on the number of remaining students, you can continue with phase 2 for extra damage. For team 2, first move Izuna to the spot like this to save her. Then use Shoshino X. Next use Oko X at around 335 for extra damage on Asumi's normal skill. Then use Tasumi and Himari X at 8 cost. Use Suzusa X after the Toy Hit Kuro for extra damage. Then use Oko, Tasumi and Himari X. If both of Asumi's shots crit, Kuro should have roughly 3 million HP left. If your Suzusa is UE40+, and is still healthy, you can wait for her to finish her normal skill. Otherwise, use her X before the toy hit her. For the last part, use Tasumi and Oko. If you want to mold a bit for a higher score, Tasumi at 3 cost and Oko can deal around 600k damage. Move Izuna like me if you want to choose the safe option. Team to be is pretty much the same team. For those who can't borrow Suzusa, you can use this team, which feels harder, or use the old team in my comfy clear. Before I end the video, let's address this weird feather positioning in Koro phase. It will randomly target the second or third student, but most of the time, it will hit the second student. Therefore, if you use a different team, Test it in practice node at least three times. By the way, for a high for me team, you need to use her X ear to block the next two attacks. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. ニンポの勝利